Welcome back to Elden Ring. We just explored the place of blood and defeated Mog, the Lord of Blood, from that portal down there. So, let's start to explore the rest of this place. I haven't been to any of this up here. There's just kind of like scattered ruins on the map. The only structure I see on the map is that. But I'm sure there's other things here. Like, there's a big remnant of an Erd tree, I think. And a bear. Oh no, two bears. Okay, let's try melee only. Jesus, I can't see anything. weapon I'm more comfortable with. You know, that attack just doesn't do the damage it used to. Like, I don't know, it used to be ridiculous, but I feel like... As I've leveled up, I feel like it hasn't. Like, Nebula used to feel kind of overpowered. Now it feels like, if anything, maybe a little underpowered sometimes. Or maybe it's just normally powered. Jeez, I just don't know how to fight them anymore. Although I do think these are upgraded versions. These are, yeah, these are definitely stronger than the older ones. Should I go back to the... Cold Night Flail and Wild Strikes? I don't know if that'd work anymore. I guess cold probably wouldn't be particularly effective against them, because they're like snow bears. I might use the flail again, but first I want to try just some pots, because I haven't really tried pots. Alright, well, that... Swarm pot didn't seem to do much. Supposed to release a swarm of accursed flies or something. I assume they cause bleeding damage, probably. I'll try the swarm pot again. I wonder if it even needs to hit them. Like, if it's a swarm, does it chase? No, it just... They swarm around where it hits. Okay. Let's try a beast lure pot. Okay, it's definitely working, but are they going to ignore it when I start shooting at them? Yes, yes they do. Let's try to make them go to sleep. Sleep. Why aren't you sleeping? I didn't hit them. That's probably why. Like, I can kill them pretty reliably this way, but it's just so slow. Like, it's so slow, I can't take it. No, I can't do the flail anymore. 
It worked on the old ones, but it doesn't work on these. Alright, let's try parrying. Are they even parryable? Alright, I'm out of here. I'm not gonna try to fight these. They're so far away from the point where I keep spawning from that it's just obnoxious to do the run back. Oh, hey, what's that? Mog, you rotten omen. Your blood is cursed. Give him back. Give Lord McKellar back. How dare you lay hands on such precious flesh. Precious flesh? Ugh. Hope flower? Hope flower? Something about a flower. Hmm. fight them from up here. I guess they maybe wouldn't be able to get here. I think they have a roar that can do damage though, so I wouldn't want to do this with no potions. Which is what I have at the moment. to be broken. Can they break it? They're not, they're not very big, but they do have the horns. Probably not. Let's see if we can find something. Fireworks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. Oh wow. That is ruining my performance. That's so pretty though. Ah. I think I need to take care of it before I really do anything else here. Um. I don't know, I guess I'll just run in.
mixed a nice flask of wonders physic. I don't know if it'll protect Torrent, but it will definitely protect me. Let me just actually drink it. Yeah, it doesn't protect Torrent. Sorry, Torrent. Oh, but it's doing an amazing job. For oh, yeah, wow. That's like preventing all damage from it. For 15 seconds, though, so it's probably wearing off right about now. But we should be safe from the magic anyway, not from being stepped on, though. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Oh, I don't have, uh... uh... Sorry, Torrent. I can't feed you berries at the moment. Doesn't seem to be the greatest weapon for this. Please don't get stepped on. This might even be worse. Ah! Oh god. Here we go. Yeah. Ah, blissful silence. Ah, oh, I can't even can't even resummon torrent. Always got to check these. Nope, they're fake. Whew. Okay, there's probably a side of grace in here. Looks like a church. Ah, oh, yes. Apostate derelict. Silver mirror shield. Summon Latena. O oh, young yet towering sister of ours, let the birthing drop let in and create life for us, for all the Albanorix. Thank you, 
I finally fulfilled my purpose. Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. Hmm. Young yet towering. They are big. Why are they so much bigger than the others? Oh, I want to curl up in their lap. Oh, there's jellyfish all around here. Time for sleep. Oh yeah, these are all Trina's lilies. Take a look at that shield. It's a medium shield. 100% physical. Oh, really, really, really exceptionally good magic protection. By far the best I've seen. And it scales on, um, well, it doesn't really matter what it scales on, but it is a bit of a int shield, which is fitting for me. Shield of radiant silver festooned with amber and carried by Loretta, Knight of the Halleck Tree. The shape is said to imitate that of a sacred drop of dew, which inspired the absurd rumor that Loretta herself was an albinoric. It looks really pretty. So how does it compare? Well, the guard boost is way worse, but of course it's not upgraded, but I think even upgraded it wouldn't be as good. But the magic protection is so good. And how does it look? It looks incredibly cool. Yeah, I think I want to use that. That is so cool. That is so pretty. Let's go see how good the guard boost is when I upgrade it. So we were thinking that for the Albanaric Rise we needed to summon some imps, but I didn't have the ashes for that. My wife looked up where to get them, and it turns out they're actually sold by the merchant at Rea Lucaria, outside of it. Unusual to this age. Apparently, I just didn't buy it. Yeah. Fanged imp ashes. Do you sell anything else I should buy? No, they have some sticks, but I have a bunch. Oh, they also have stone sword keys. Have a I do want as big of a pile of those as I can possibly get. Now, I have 28 stone sword keys. So I'm not exactly sure where to summon them. Let's try here, but maybe I need to, like, have them fight the ones out back or something? I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's just try here. I guess they're going to get to fight him. on their eyes opened. Thanks, imps. Oh, yeah, I almost fully upgraded the Silver Mirror Shield to plus nine. It's actually a special shield, so it uses um, the, uh, well, special upgrade material. And it got up to 49 guard boost, so compared to the, I think it was 60 of the other one. 61? Yeah, it's really not even close to as good.
but it still is just so pretty. And I don't even use my shield that much, so it's fine. Graven Mass Talisman. I have so many talismans now. Oh, it's a better version of the Graven School Talisman. So the school one didn't do much. I think it was like 4%. But, well, let's check the wiki. It increases damage by 8%, which is pretty good. That's pretty dang good. That's significant. It's significant enough that I think I probably want to put it somewhere here. Question is what? Like, what would I replace? Maybe shorten spellcasting time? Let's go check out this dead-looking um, Meyer Erd tree over here next to this town. We'll save the town for last. need any more fulgur blooms. Oh, beetle. Wait, is that just full of health potions? Oh no, it's this one. Ah! Ah, it's gone. I can't tell if that one's red or not. Oh, it's not. Where are you right? Aha! They were right. Invisible sort. Where was that message? Up and then try attacking. Be way up to the Erd tree over here. Try left. Oh. Yeah, 
there's the avatar. Tears, thorny cracked tear and ruptured crystal tear. Haven't had new tears in a while, I feel like. See, I'm in such an unsafe position, it won't even let me get off the horse. Because it's like, no, you can't get out. It is. There's no safe position to put you in. Fine, I'll just teleport then, because I think we're not exploring here anyway. I do not want to try to back that ass up. We got two tiers. One of them was just another ruptured crystal tier, I think, so that we can put both of them in one potion if we really want to blow up for some reason. The other one was the Thorny Cracked tier. It makes consecutive attacks grow stronger. Um, the wiki says it lasts three minutes. And for the first bump up in damage, I guess I guess that means like the first consecutive attack. It does a 9% boost. And then I think the next one is 13. And then, then it tops out at 20%. Which is actually pretty huge. I don't know if it affects melee only or also magic or what. But that... Seems pretty good, actually. If you're doing consecutive attacks, that'd be pretty fantastic. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Bit of a shorter one, but I need to go. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to explore the liturgical town of Ordina. <laughs>